days, welcome back. So we are finally at workout three for this program. So we have legs to do. Yay. So same as always, we run through six stations, circuit style. So try to run through them consecutively with the least amount of uh, rest as possible. Of course, if you need a moment, take it. Um, and then at the end, you can rest a couple minutes if need be or power through the next two rounds. So a total of three rounds for this um, as we do for all of them. So, okay, we're going right into station number one is Bulgarian lunges on the bench with dumbbells. So this one is going to be 12 on each leg. And here you're going to put your leg up here, your one foot, can you give yourself a decent uh, range in between your front leg and your back leg. And all you're going to do, nice shoulders back, nice tight core, coming straight down and up. Down, drive through that heel on the way up. Down and up. So some people like to lay their foot flat. Some people like to be on their toe. Doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong as long as your foot is up there and you've got a decent range, your body is staying upright and going straight down in that lunge. So that's it for that one. We do 12 on one leg, do 12 on the other. Pick a weight that's gonna be challenging, but don't pick a weight that you're not going to be able to hold throughout the whole 24 set for reps. So next one is a reverse frog.
and again, folding forward, leading with my butt, feeling that stretch, and again, squeeze at the top. So it's a nice and slow and controlled movement. There's no reason to power through this. We want to feel the pull. So doing that is going to mean pushing that butt all the way out until you get to that flat back. So that's all there is to that one. Again, form is key for you to be able to feel it and target those hamstrings. So we are doing a total of 12. Now you can do an alternating grip as well. So I should show you that. Instead of uh, hands forward, you can do hands underneath. So the same style, you can grab the bar this way and do it. You can also have one hand over, one hand under, grabbing the bar. This is my favorite grip. And then up, and then down. Squeezing, and then down. So a couple different styles. You can alternate between each round or you can find the one that you like the most and stick with it. So moving on to number four is wadded, wadded, weighted squat on the bench. So a couple options, you can use dumbbells or you can use kettlebells. I'm gonna grab this 30 pound kettlebell. Two options for the way that you hold it. You can hold it in the front, make sure your shoulders are set meaning pull back, your core is tight, and then you're sitting back into that squat. On the way up, you're squeezing those glutes, and then again, down, squeeze. The, off, the other way, if you want a little bit more arm work in this, you can hold it up top, you can bring that down, and you can squeeze. I find when I hold it up here, I have more balance and I can go deeper into my squat. So squeezing the glutes, down, sitting back, and up. So that's all there is to that one. Make sure when you are squatting, again, sitting back. Knees do not go over your toes. They're just slightly, I guess, over your ankles. So squeezing up, pushing back, squeezing up. Okay, so again, two options with this where you can hold it wherever you're comfortable. Try both ways if you'd like. Doing a total of 12 of those. So now we're going over to number five, which is the adduction machine. Again, one of my favorites. It always gets you on the inner thighs for days. So I enjoy throwing this in a program. So here I have it on number five, because I like it wide, but depending on the strength you are, um, how long your legs are, I'm not that tall, I can still put it on number five and pull it together. Because I like that it forces me, when I'm in an open extended position, to utilize my inner thighs to pull it, as opposed to my knees. So let's start here. Okay, so getting in it is good. So here I am, I can use this, and I'm going to squeeze, again, really focusing on those inner thighs, coming out, squeeze. Try to bring those pegs totally together. If you can't do that, then I would say that the weight is too heavy. Coming out, squeeze, and release. It's nice, slow and controlled movement each time. So I'm doing about 110, um, and that's a good weight for me. So depending on where you are, you'd be surprised how much you can do with your legs. Our legs are strong and we don't give them enough credit. So moving on to our last station. So we are doing a total of 12 reps there as well. And we are adding in a leg extension. So again, with any machine that we use, always check your weight before you jump on and start trying to do something so you do not injure yourself. So I'm starting off at about 40 pounds. 
I could probably go heavier. Um, this would be a little light for me. So a couple different positions. If you need to move the seat, there's a peg on this side, and you either pull it up or push it down. You want those pads on the tops of your feet. So not up here on your ankles, but on the top of your feet. So when you push up, you're going to really fire up those quads. So again, I like to put my hands back on these pads so I have a little bit more support and coming up. As you can see, this weight is way too light for me. Um, so I would probably be doing 60 or 70 pounds on a leg extensions to start. But full extension here, you can see my quads are engaged, releasing, full extension, and release. So again, if you're not using anything, just a nice tight core sitting up straight works just as good. Again, slow and controlled, full extension up, release, and again, full extension up, and then release. So that is station number six. That completes your circuit. So rest a couple minutes if you need to in between. Run through it three times. I hope you get a good uh, sweat on and your legs feel great when you're finished. Um, remember to warm up before you start this leg workout, any workout, uh, five to ten minutes on the cardio machines, and please take the time to stretch those legs out when you're done um, and cool down. Okay, hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye.